Hey guys, so today is another day and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys have been enjoying um, some little, you know, me time, self-reflection time, whatever you want to call it that we are all stuck in the house. I'm not necessarily stuck in the house, but because um, I'm like an essential worker or whatever. So I do work a couple days during the week. Um, but nonetheless, I am back with another video. I hope you guys just are really taking this time to self-reflect and just, you know, reevaluate things as I have been. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be all about this hair that I am absolutely freaking loving. I want to say, and this is... <laughs> This is not even going to be because of one of the products that I'm using is mine, but I am loving how the, I'm really loving the shape of my hair. I don't know. I'm loving how it is shaped. I just love how this wash and go turned out. I have, or maybe it could be because I haven't done a wash and go in a very long time, but I haven't done one in a very long time. Um, and I'm just loving how this wash and go is. It's so soft, super defined. I don't usually do defined hairstyles, but if you are using this gel right here, you're going to get a divine wash and go. Like it's just required. Like there is no other way around it. Um, so I did use the wet line extreme gel and I did use my mango butter as well. Um, this wash and go is super moisturized and just super just defined. I love, love, love it guys. Like I love how it feels. I love how it looks. I love the shape of my hair. And everything I did stretch my hair a little bit but not by much guys like it's just the shape is just super cute it's like a little bob situation going on here I don't know but I love it I hope you guys enjoy it too um, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you do not miss when I upload and if you guys want to see how I got this wash and go using my mango butter and the wet line extreme gel then definitely stay tuned Starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair, I've already applied my leave-in off camera and I used the Moisture Love Leave-In Conditioning Serum as well as the Sealed with a Kiss Oil as well. So first I'm going to be going in with my mango butter which you guys see here and I'm just going to be applying that first and then afterwards I'm going to be going in with my wet line extreme gel. So I'm going to go in with the mango butter first and then if my hair feels a little bit dry because I do want my hair pretty soaking wet when I go in with the gel and I just apply the gel, the gel starting at the roots and working my way all the way down. I do go in and shingle my hair. I didn't have to but I kind of like when I use this gel. Pretty much any kind of gel I prefer to shingle my hair. So I was kind of going for a really defined wash and go for this, but this gel you can kind of do without the shingling. You'll get the fine curls either way, but I wanted to do this just because I like how my hair turns out when I shingle my hair. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys another section in the front and yeah, I'll be back.
after I applied all of the gel and the mango butter, I just go in and kind of smooth my edges back. I don't really style my edges, but I do like them a little neat when I do a wash and go. So I just go in and kind of just apply some edge gel and just smooth them back um, just so that it's nice and smooth once I dry. And then after this, I tie my edges down and I do sit under a hooded dryer. <laughs> So here is my hair after it is completely dry. It's still a little damp under here, like a little bit. Um, but other than that, my hair is completely dry. It does have a little crunch to it. Um, I'm not gonna do anything right now tonight. Um, I'm not gonna stretch it. I'm not gonna break the cast or anything like that. I'm literally just gonna put my bonnet on and go to sleep. I'm probably gonna, like, I'm gonna be up for a couple hours anyway. So hopefully by then the underneath here will dry. If not, I'll sit under the dryer like a little bit before I go to sleep. Um, I'm really up and under there for an hour. Um, but right up under here, usually when I use a gel, it takes a little bit longer. I usually should really sit under the dryer for like an hour and a half when I use a gel for my hair. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much going to leave it like this for now. And then I will be back tomorrow when I stretch my hair and you know, do what I would normally do for a hairstyle like this. And show you, like, look at the shine on my hair, guys. Just look at the shine, like you guys can see it. You can see it, like, it is there. So, looks, um, super shrunken, but super, super shiny. And I know once I break that cast, it's just going to reveal some really, really soft hair. So. I will be back tomorrow. So this is the next day after my hair is completely dried and I'm just going in with my blow dryer with no attaching attachment and just stretching it out a bit. And then I'm just banding my hair kind of loosely because I'm gonna be doing my makeup right after this and I just didn't want my hair in my face while I'm doing this. So I just take a blow dryer on warm, uh, warm high heat and I just kind of spread that across and um, stretch my hair a little bit and then just band the section up and put my scarf on while I do my makeup. completed look guys this is after I took my bands out and did my makeup the hair looks super bomb I did not stretch it a lot I find if I use the wet line extreme gel and I stretch it too much then it kind of looks more like a blowout um, so I didn't stretch it too much I just kind of wanted to keep the body and keep the definition pretty much intact with this wash and go and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video all the details about the products that I use will be down in the description box. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and check out my shop um, as well to get those earrings that you're seeing right now as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!